very strongly over the next few weeks. Here's Jay Carney in yesterday's briefing saying that this is going to happen. But we remain hopeful that the House will follow the bipartisan action by the Senate and address the comprehensive challenge posed by uh, our broken immigration system through passage of a comprehensive immigration reform bill that meets the priorities set by the president. But Republicans see midterm victory increasing their margin in the House and perhaps taking control of the Senate if they simply stick to the issues of criticizing Obamacare and the weak economy. And they point to the special election victory in Florida's 13th congressional district earlier this week by David Jollius Evans. That that can happen. They don't want to money the waters by catering to a Democratic desire to stem deportation while not increasing border security. Doug, thank you. Doug McCann, Wayne Eric on there. The White House, as of March of 2012, about two years ago now, an estimated 11.7 million were living illegally here in the United States. Just over 6 million were out of Mexico. And 419,000 deported. Most from Mexico, Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador. All right, but today we are hearing from a family of uh, some of the people who were injured in the crash at the South by Southwest Music Festival. Police say that a drunk driver plowed his car into a crowd on that Austin, Texas street corner early yesterday. Among those injured, a teenage couple, high school sweethearts. One her left arm, she can't move it. She had to choke with her left arm, and you know, but she's talking. He's not responsive. That's you know what's getting me. But they saying as long as he stay at the condition that he is now, he should recover. Just playing my niece was talking. I'm just glad that she was alert. She recognized us, but it's very painful. Two people were killed in that crash. The suspect is facing numerous charges, including murder. And now on to the latest in the hunt for the missing Malaysian jetliner. Why investigators are now reportedly looking into whether the plane's communications were deliberately, in two stages, cut off. And what that means for the 239 people on board. Also, Carl Rove is here today with a word of caution to his Republican colleagues who are getting confident about the midterm since winning a a special election in Florida on Tuesday of this week. Why Rome will argue not so fast is coming up. And it's like something out of a sci-fi movie. We're going to show you the amazing rocket that lands on two feet. Jeans and jacket look is popular these days. You could say it's the new type of suit for today's new type of suits. Refresh your style at our store wide buy one, get one free event. Men's Warehouse. How do we get a little fun in the sun for free? I stayed one time. We stayed another time. And now we're all staying one night free. Great endings begin here. Right now, when you book at any of these choice hotels and take two separate trips, you earn one night free. Book now at choicehotels.com. The U.S. bankruptcy courts have established trusts to compensate those diagnosed with lung cancer or mesothelioma. $30 billion has been set aside for those suffering from asbestos-related diseases. Thousands of people have already received compensation. To learn more, contact us now for a free consultation. Call 1-800-950-MESO. For nearly two decades, we've been fighting for people with lung cancer and mesothelioma. Call us at 1-800-950-MESO. Lung cancer and mesothelioma. Don't fight it alone. Hi, I'm Jen. As a journalist, I've always taken pride in being resourceful, but nothing could have prepared me for the crisis that came from the sudden need to find a senior community for my mom. It was overwhelming. I had no idea what places were reliable or even what questions to ask. But now there's a place for mom. A place for mom is the nation's largest senior living referral service, and it's free. With one phone call, you'll get free information on assisted living, Alzheimer's care, nursing homes, even important financial information. They had obviously researched every place, not just given me names. They found me a place for which she could afford, and it was magnificent. So if you're struggling to find reliable senior living information, call A Place for Mom. This is a free service, and you can trust them to help you. Call A Place for Mom and get all the information you need for free. Call 800-231-4790. 
800-231-4790. As government debt has spiraled out of control, owning physical gold and silver has become a crucial part of a balanced, conservative financial plan. At Merit Gold and Silver, we've helped tens of thousands of Americans take delivery of physical gold and silver since 1986. As demand for precious metals continues to soar, we're offering even more of our most popular bullion products at 1% over dealer cost. Are you looking for gold eagles, buffaloes, or British sovereigns? How about silver eagles, bars, or guns? With Merit, there are no hidden fees or surcharges, just 1% over our cost for all your gold and silver bullion. We'll even pay to have your products discreetly delivered to your door. Fully insured. It's easy to order. Call the number on your screen now and lock in prices over the phone. Or visit us at MeritGold.com. Our expert staff is standing by. So call now. Get knowledge. Get value. Get Merit Gold and Silver. A deadly confrontation inside of a family's home near Houston. Investigators say the father shot and killed a 17-year-old boy who he found inside of his teenage daughter's bedroom early yesterday morning. This is video of the father heading to the hospital after that shooting for what appeared to be an unrelated medical situation. He said to open fire after seeing the boy reach for something. Turns out the boy was not open. Not clear yet what, if any, charges could be filed. And a Fox News alert on the deepening mystery about what may have happened to Malaysia Airlines Flight 370. Investigators now reportedly looking into whether the plane's communications were deliberately cut off in two stages to avoid detection. Listen to this. Most people think that the, the Earth is, is surrounded by a radar net, if you will, but it's not. There are huge empty gaps. And when you get into the area they're talking about, south of Sri Lanka, way out into the Indian Ocean, there aren't, any, there aren't even really too many jet routes. So the chance of being able to put an airplane down out there, mm -hmm. really, that's your hey, intent, honey. and have it disappear completely. What do you think happened to this jet? Really interesting this morning. Uh, I'm joined now by Jess Giles, who was the co-pilot of the Miracle on the Hudson, which ditched into the Hudson River in Manhattan in 2009, saving me. everyone on board. Uh, congratulations, by the way, to you for your role in that. That was an <laughs> unbelievable story and a wonderful <laughs> end uh, for all water. the people on board. So good to have you here. Don't forget my cleaning. Thank you. Sabotage. Good morning to you. There's, there's definitely something wrong. There's some features on there. Yeah. So if something goes wrong, yeah, something else is going to come up. That we've had so far, it's and for all of it to suddenly break down like that? Really, any option is still open. All right. There's really, there. everything is still on the table. Uh, that's the amazing thing, that after a week, we're still no closer to finding a solution. Are you going to be warm enough? It's 50, 50 degrees. No, <laughs> it's What do you make of this caring. new information <laughs> that the transponders that would have communicated any information back were shut off in two different stages. Would that have to be a manual action, or could that be the result of a mechanical malfunction? Well, what I, I heard, uh, uh, you know, conflicting information on this. I uh, heard about a data transmission that happened at seven minutes past the hour, and then the trans transponder uh, return being lost at 21 minutes past the hour. Well, a data transmission is, is uh, could be normal procedure. Uh, these aircraft, after they reach what we call the top of climb, which would be level off at the cruise altitude, will, after a period of time, will send a uh, data transmission uh, about inch in parameters. They're used by the uh, maintenance departments of airlines to, to monitor the aircraft that they oversee. Uh, that happens shortly. It would have happened about that time. But then another transmission.